task 3 we are going to create new azure ad user and then we'll be assigning the all back row that we have created in the previous task and then verify that the user can perform the task open azure active directory go to users click new user enter the username and the name let me create the password click on create open the user and copy the full name including the domain this we need in the next uh, section so we have copied uh, the user full name and go back to the management group that we have created select mg1 click on access control iam click on add add role assignment select the role support request contributor select the user that we have created ad user 1 click on save Now open the new in private window. Go to portal.azure.com and log in with the new user that we have created. Click next. The password. enter the current password change new password click sign in skip for now Yes, maybe later. So, search resource group. And uh, this user can see the list of all the resource groups. We can navigate to all resources, but he is not seeing any resources inside the resource group because we have the storage account inside the resource group. But if you select all resources and there is no resource listed. Next, search help plus support. 
in the Azure portal search and click new support request select the issue type service and subscription limits quotas and select the subscription that we use and select the quota type So if we are uh, seeing the subscription here means we have the um, permission to create the new support request. So this subscription has the privilege to create the new subscription for this user account. If you do not see this issue type, you can sign out and sign in back and you can check. Do not go ahead and create the support request otherwise uh, it will open the support request with Microsoft. 